this is the place that uh, somebody has recommended me to do a level on. Now, first of all, look at look how much room we have on the streets. We don't have much room. And these are the docks. Now, I do believe from what I can gather, by the time the 50 foot, the 53 foot trailer and truck is parked, it basically would be uh, kind of sticking out just a little bit on the road. Now, I'm guessing too that this is going to be done at night time. I, it's just, it's such a, 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 the area is so hard to get into. And maybe fingers crossed that these dumpsters are not there as well. As you can see, that definitely takes up some space. And of course, we don't have any use of the sidewalk because we got these yellow poles. So we're just gonna. So when I'm making the level, I'm just gonna put a, a wall there instead because we definitely just can't use that area. So yes, definitely very, very, very tricky. But this definitely possible. But it, I do believe it would be impossible to get into into the right door. Uh, but definitely, definitely get into this one. All right. Now you'd have to blindside it in order to go in there but of course this is a one-way road from what I can gather but anyway so here's what I'm gonna do all right now I'm gonna stay in the middle of the road now it's a one-way street so we basically can do what we want all right I'm gonna get in here just a little bit now watch out for my uh, trailer swing but I, I just want to get nice and close I want, I want, my, I want my trailer pointing towards pointing towards the, uh, the the spaces just a little bit. And, uh, I suppose I didn't really need to pull in that much because I can't. It's still out there. But now my goal right now is to maximize everything. This little space right here. I want my trailer to be pointing towards roughly around here. I'm gonna try. So I'll just pull forward. Yeah, roughly. I'm gonna do it and pull forward now. Not pull forward. Turn to the right. Now, of course, of course, we can't do much. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Yes, that's the best setup I can possibly do for this one, right? Because right now I'm maximizing everything over here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my steers pointing straight for now. Because if I start turning in right now, I'll end up hitting the wall. Now, it's very important that my axles be all the way forward. Do not, If you have your axles all the way back, you won't be able to make this at all. Okay? So... Let's start backing up. All right, that's nice and slow. I'm gonna start turning just a little bit. Yeah, so it's jackknifing just at a low rate, but once I get to this point, where this point meets here, I definitely will. So no, maybe roughly around here, actually. So I'm gonna crank it hard, all right? Of course, when you do crank your steering wheel hard, you gotta take into account of what's happening because we still have very little room over here, all right? So I'm gonna keep backing up. Okay. All right, I'm definitely going to have to start chasing just a little bit. All right, let's maintain that angle. Oh, man, it's going so slow. There we go. I can still control it at that speed. All right, looking good. All right, I got to get my truck. I want my truck at least running parallel to this. All right, I can't. I can't have the back end of my truck pointing towards this wall anymore because I won't have. I'll get too. I'll end up getting too close. So I'm, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and point my steer straight. Now it's still gonna, this angle here is gonna get a little less, so it'll definitely start jackknifing more. All right, it's looking good. Now, I, you can't just put it, uh, if you do just put it into the center of the of, of the spaces, it's, it'll be very difficult to move over because your, your actual goal here is to get it in one shot with very little pull forward, all right? Because if you do have to pull forward, you, you, just, you, don't, you won't have the room. All right, so let's keep her going. So I'm gonna start chasing now. Of course, I can't do a full chase, because I'll end up hitting the wall, but I can keep going closer and closer to it. Now I gotta ask myself right now, um, when when do when do I want to start really to start chasing it? Uh, let's just keep backing up and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna jackknife hard right here. All right, I do believe that will get me in there. All right, chasing. Now they may even have you disconnect from the trailer once you've actually uh, backed up because. Because I actually, because I don't, I do not know the actual distance, how far back the actual dock is, because I've got no reference points. All right, I do believe that's good. So I'm, go I, I am going to be able to do a little bit of a pull forward here, and I may not be perfectly centered into in the space, but uh, I got it mostly. 
There we go. I think I think we're in. Would you agree? All right. So again, it's all about the distance, how far away, and small little turning, and uh, you should be just fine. So if you need to move it over to get it more centered in the space, I recommend going all the way over here to the left because you're able to use a lot more room to the left instead of just doing some serpent serpentines going forward. It's just, uh, I feel like you can control this more. All right, so now I'm just bringing it back more and then I'll jackknife again and then chase it and it should be somewhat center and I can just do a little bit more pull forward. It's just, you're, you're so limited to, to, to the room in front that uh, it's just, you're not able to do too much at once. You may have to do a, a few different shots. But anyway, um, very difficult back. And if you have any other ones that you want me to uh, try out and make levels for, by all means, send me the address and an email. Thanks, bye.